There's a guy. He's a uh, stay-at-home father. He works from home. And he's doing his uh, projects one day. And his uh, little boy comes up to him and says, Dad, 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 let's go through the football. Let's go through the football. And he's like, no, not, not right now. Not right now. I can't. I'm working. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I, I'm going to throw the football. The father gets the idea. He looks over and... Uh, sees a newspaper sitting on the edge of the desk and on the cover of the newspaper is a picture of its picture of the world map of the world so he takes the newspaper pulls out that picture and he says here's what I'm gonna do he rips up the picture of the world and he hands it to his little boy you know, he put, rips it up into two dozen pieces or so. Then gives him a roll of tape. He says, you can, I'll give you this puzzle. And I want you to put this together. And then, you know, when, when you finally arrange it all and it's taped together nicely, I'll go out and play football with you. Now, father knows that, you know, his son's very young. He really doesn't know much about geography. So it's going to be a nice little project. It'll buy him a couple hours at least if the kid stays with it. So, the boy enthusiastically takes it, he goes, go ahead, okay, okay, goes and lays down on the floor. Short time later, ten minutes or so, he comes back and it's put together perfectly. Father's like, how, how did you do that? And the little kid says, well, I noticed that there was an advertisement on the back, and there was a picture of a man, and I figured that if I put the man together, the world would come together. I like that story a lot. Has a, I heard it a little while ago, but has much, much meaning in my life, and I'm sure it does with many people's lives. Is that most of my issues, my the stuff that I brought into my life, the the problems, we'll say, it was all because I wasn't working on myself. I was always looking out at the world. I was looking out at others to fix things for me or to project blame on. And it wasn't until, I mean, it wasn't until really I began to work on myself that I'll say that the world came together for me. You know, because I was told a lot you know, change, it's, it's all a matter of your perception, it's how you view the world. But I had no means by which to, it's like, okay, great, I'm viewing the world oddly, but how, how do I, I can't just, just stop doing what I'm doing, I don't know how to. Didn't have the tools. And it was by going inward, it was by, uh, you know, learning about myself that my, com my worldview changed completely for, th for the better, I see. And so, you know, the question could be asked, well, how, how does one go ahead and change their worldview then? Okay, if I'm working on myself, good. But what is, you know, what can I do? What's one thing? And something that I found to be most important early on in my development, which I continue on with today, is to bring ceremony into my life. Now, everybody has ritual. Now, ritual I'll define as something that you do, you do it consistently, but you do it without thought. So, a uh, good example of that could be if you're, you know, a guy, how much thought do you really put to shaving? It's just something you do. You stand in front of the sink or you get in the shower and you probably start shaving on the same side every time. And if you actually started doing it on the opposite, there's a slight possibility you might cut yourself if you weren't paying attention. Now, ceremony being something that you do with thought. And I, with me, my ceremony in the very, very beginning when I started working on myself looked like uh, I'll just say sitting quietly for 10 minutes. I like to call it meditation, but when you're practically vibrating out of your chair, it's not really meditation, but A for effort, you know? So I would do that every single day, come hell or high water. And then at the end of the night, what I, or at the end of the day rather, to kind of carry it over and keep it cyclical, I would write down how my day was and what I did good 
as well as where my shortcomings were and what I was going to work on the next day and see I would bring that into my quiet time the next morning so just to keep a nice cycle going now you don't have to do something like that but by finding something especially if it's something that you do at the very beginning of your day you build momentum and this works for somebody who just has a little bit of laziness or something along those lines in your life all the way down to somebody who feels that they practically have nothing to live for somebody who just doesn't even want to get out of bed it's find something now um, you know a, f a friend of mine I was telling her about this and her uh, little ceremony that she would do was um, she just decided before she would go to work that she would put on some makeup that's what she chose to do now she didn't she didn't normally wear makeup so it was something out of the ordinary and because this person did have a lot of issues just getting out of bed and you know didn't it's not that there wasn't motivation there it's just there's that inner depression that you just don't know what the hell to do with it but it's by rather than focusing on oh I'm depressed or I am this it's let's let's do something it's not it's not a distraction but it's taking you out of that mind frame it's uh, you're almost if you keep it up you can cease to identify with that depression or that disorder or that addiction so this person would every morning whether she wanted to or not she would put on her makeup before she went to work and in the uh, in on the weekends would sit quietly in the morning whether she wanted to or not and it by bringing that ceremony into life you get your momentum going it builds confidence and you know you can you just keep rolling with it. I mean, that's you, you, you build off of it. It's moments, moments in life, momentum. You're moving, you're moving. You're not staying stuck. And, you know, I mean, that's, that's actually one of the reasons, it's one of the smaller reasons, but it's one of the uh, reasons that I make these videos. I mean, my main thing is getting out there, getting information that I see pertinent and relevant to the world to people who may not know it or may have heard it but never heard it quite the way that I say it so that's the main reason but part of it is to hold myself accountable not for raw foods or juicing or anything like that because I got that down it's more I do feel at times that I'm inherently lazy and it would be a lot easier for me to just uh, get up go to work and just just get into ritual whereas with making videos I'm doing something that could potentially help somebody and if I, if I feel as if as long as I help one person with all the videos that I make of it I only help one person I've I've done something so but I'm holding myself accountable because I make myself make at least six videos a week because I got plenty to say, but there are times where it's just, it'd be so much easier just for me to go take my dog for a walk and just talk to myself or just stare at trees, which sometimes is what I do. But, you know, it's just find things that work for you. Because sitting down and meditating, that ain't for everybody. Uh, it could be, your ceremony could be that every morning, whatever it is you choose to eat, you're gonna sit down and maybe you're in a situation where you can do it in silence and you can make that meal a ceremony make it a prayer something that you're actually focusing on you're not playing with your phone you're not listening to a radio you're not reading the paper you're eating you're being present with that thing so that is uh, what I got to say on that uh, subscribe to my videos uh, send me questions comments like share and of course, go out, have fun. See you later, guys.